let's do a pipe routing simple exercise in solidworks pipe it is a kind of assembly so we have to open or go to assembly file new activate here assembly okay now let me cancel those all and i am going to activate this origin point because i am going to fix our first part on this origin that's why let's visible origin point now right click and check okay go to add ins and here you will find option pipe uh, solid box routing and here choose check if you check this box automatically it will appear here say okay and just wait see all the options are open here so electrical i don't need so just go and hide those tubing also we don't need for this user defined route we don't need okay this is the pipe now first step is start by drag and drop so activate this now you will see in design library there is a one option routing see this is activated open routing and there is option called piping see if we check piping you will see all the profiles cross section elbow equipment nipple gasket everything is here we will just drag and drop okay so first thing what we will do we will go for let's check flanges now here different type of flanges so i am going to okay let's go with uh, slip on weld flange just drag and move cursor over origin point and see this is going to fix with origin if you leave you will see this pop up select a configuration you have to choose the size of pipe okay now let's say slip on flange 150 nps 5 inch this is 5 inch pipe say okay would you like to save the assembly say yes okay whatever name save in your particular destination save okay now here see file name everything mentioned here this is the routing template location okay then comes here this is the pipe location and this is this base configure size of pipe you can even change it from here pipe 5 inch schedule 40 this is the size of pipe even you can change it but let's go as it is now wall thickness now use weld gap weld gap means the gap between pipe and uh flange is going to you can define it from here but i am going by default now bend elbow once you move this uh bend this uh, pipe it will always use elbow okay and what size of elbow 90 degree 5 inch schedule 40 this is bend radius by default okay if i am going to say okay look the pipe attached with weld but let's change unit now we are out you will see this is in blue means we are out of the sketch so right click edit route okay now simply even though you can drag this okay let's uh, add some more things here now let's add go to piping and add some reducer let's move something like this see reducer just click and drag drag to the point leave now here also once you leave shift key uh, the, your uh, mouse you, it will ask you size what type of size you do you want so let's say i am going to use 5 into 3 inch schedule 40 okay see exit now again go to pipe add here flange now 
now according to size the flange is going to change NPS 3 ok that's fine cancel now let's go to layout put dimension this is important dimension let's say 30 inch and this is going to be 25 inch okay now if i want to add anything something whatever let's say add some t just drag your cursor leave here inch 3 inch schedule 40 say okay now asking you new no see now let me add some flange on top just slip on weld drag and drop see this is going to change size now you need more now we already have t so we don't need more cancel it t let's drag and place here 5 inch schedule 40 cancel it now go to piping activate line and tab key and change the direction see right click exit now you can apply flanges here and you will see this is going to be bigger size let's apply dimensions to every place 15 and dimensions for this let's say 12 25 20 and distance for this going to be 15 ok ok that's it oh, even uh, simply exit if you want to make some more number of uh, right click and here you can define let's say define spool make this color red ok let this section define red color again right click define spool change red colors to blue ok now keep visible this section blue ok again let me choose this section and this section going to be let's say green okay the next color pink or yellow let's say in this let me choose this okay now again change the last one what color pink okay and here i am going to choose this okay cancel now look if i am going to select this all see how we define with the help of spool color simply exit now click hide show real view save this assembly save internally so all part saved in assembly now you can hide all these sketches
Don't forget to share, like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SolidWorks. Thanks for watching.